Hey guys, so as you can tell, I am going to do a get ready with me using my Tarte Aqua Lilies palette. This is the palette that I am plan planning on panning this year, so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and show you guys a look that I've been doing. And yeah, so today is um, the Carolina Panthers are playing the Seahawks, so I will be using this blue shade for a lot of it. So as you can tell, I have my earrings on, so let's just get started. I normally start using my eye cream, so I'm going to use my Murad Renewing Eye Cream. And I have my mirror right over here. If you see me looking that way. Okay. So I have my eye cream on. Now I'm going to go in with my Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This has SPF 30, treats blurs, and protects. And I love that it has a pump. And I like to keep a thing of tissues to like wipe off my hands. So what we're going to do next, I like to go into my eyes. So I'm going to use this Maybelline Color Tattoo in Seashore Frost. This was a limited edition. So I'm going to go ahead and I like to use, try and find, I just washed my makeup brushes. That's why they're all over the place. But I like to use my Sigma Concealer F70 brush to get into these pots. So I'm just going to place it all over the lid. And I like using a brush so my fingers don't have to get super sticky or anything like that. Okay, so that is just with the color tattoo. Then, I'm using this. I don't know the names of all these shades, but I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. This matte brown shade. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and work that into my crease. Okay, so I have my crease shade in. Now I'm going to go in all over the lid with this shade right here. I think it's called Poolside. And with that, I'm going to use this pink Royal and Lang Nickel Medium Eyeshader Brush. And I kind of just place it all over the eye. Okay, so we're going to go back in here with this dark shade right there. And I use this e.l.f. Precision Blending Eye Brush. It's really nice and small to get into the outer corner. And I don't want it too dark because it is like only 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay. On a Sunday. Hopefully when I post this, um, we'll know if the Panthers won or not and hopefully that means they won. Okay. So then I like to go back in with that this shade right here I used in my crease and this is the e.l.f. tapered blending just to kind of blend it all together. Weird. 
There's a weird, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, there's like a weird piece of the eyeshadow that's just looks funky. I don't know if I like that. This is old, so I don't know if that's just hard pan or what, but I'm going to keep using this shade. Okay. So, I got majority of my eye. I do want to do my eyebrow bone, and I'm going to go in with my Sigma large shader E60 brush and I'm going to take this shade this bright shade right here tap that on the brush and go right under the eyebrow and I like to do a little bit in the inner corner as well Okay, so that is the eye look. What I'm going to go into next is eyeliner. I'm actually going to use this gel liner. This is from NYX. This is the Gel Liner and Smudger Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. That's what it looks like. And let's see if I can find my brush. Okay, and I'm going to take my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush that. I'm just going to line my top lashes. That's one eye done. Do any of y'all make like really funny faces when you put on makeup? I'm probably making like uh, like weird faces. Okay. Go in low and do my lower eye, uh, my waterline with this Rimmel Scandalize Nude. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes with this um, Revlon eyelash curler. And for my top lashes, since I also do my bottom but with a different one, um, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Have y'all seen that they're coming out with a... Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara Waterproof Edition. I am really excited to try that. Because I really like this mascara, but my eyes get watery a lot throughout the day, so I would really love to have a waterproof version of this. Or at least test it out. And then my other eye. Go down my top. And again, I do have a mirror right here, so if you see me looking over here, especially for this part. Okay. So my eyes are pretty good. Um, now I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. And I do have a review on this. I'll link it down below. But again, you only need a small like dot size amount. I don't know if you can see that. And I like to just put it right under my eye. I actually need a little bit more. Okay, and I like to conceal a little bit right under my nose because it does get red there and I'm going to use my Evelyn Iona concealer. I got this in an Ipsy bag and I'm going to go in with this um, Urban Decay shadow pencil but I like using it a lot for concealer. And I just 
do that and a little bit of my nose as well because I have a lot of freckles there and as much as I love my freckles sometimes it could be a little much especially on my nose and then I also want to go in and do any other blemishes or anything like that on my skin hopefully my lighting is okay with this because last time I filmed at this time it looked really bad so we'll see you. Let me know what you guys think about this lighting. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a fluid base, like kind of like a highlight base. This is my Burberry Fresh Glow Nude Radiance in number one. Looks like this. I got a sample and I fell in love with it. My hands are a little greasy right now. So it comes in this pump and I like to just put some on my finger. And just rub it into my face just to give a nice dewy kind of subtle glow to my skin just to kind of brighten my face since I do have like normal to dry skin okay next we're gonna move on to my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in the shade 3.5 and I'm almost done with this and I'm really sad about it. So I'm going to just go in with my fingers and then use a brush at the end. I noticed that um I did just recently get a beauty blender but I don't know I'm just a little nervous about using it for the first time if you guys have any tips or recommendations on using a bl beauty blender let me know down below but I've tried using like brushes and stuff to apply the foundation and I just find that it has you can see the strokes and it leaves my face kind of like I don't know not natural let's just put it that way like it almost I can see the brush strokes and stuff and I don't like that okay so I had a little bit left so I just rub that in to my face my hand and I'm gonna go in now with this Real Techniques. This is the multitask brush, and I like to just at the end just buff in the foundation. So I do still use a brush for my foundation, but not for the first overall coverage of it. Okay, today to set my foundation. I'm going to go in with this Hourglass, um, the shade right here in Dim Light, this shade right here. And I'm going to go and use my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. And I don't typically do this every day, but it's like kind of snowing outside. And I don't know, I just feel fancy. I feel fancy. Okay. For bronzer today, I'm going to go into put the foundation away. Go into my Too Faced, the little black book of bronzers, and um, I'm just gonna go in with milk chocolate soleil for all over my face. And I'm using the e.l.f. Total Face Brush for this part. I just take it and then I just sweep it all over my face. Just kind of around the edges where the sun would normally hit your face. And also down my neck. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Oh, so new Kashuk. I don't know what this is. I think this is like their blush brush. And I'm going to take Endless Summer and just do kind of where you would normally contour. Just to darken up that area. But not too overly contour. 
For blush today, I'm going to go back into my Tarte Aqua Lilies palette and use this blush down there. I think this blush is called Captivating. But I am trying to finish this blush, this whole palette, blush, bronzer, and highlight up for this year. So I do need to continually work on it. So yeah, this is the whole point why I'm doing this video so you can see kind of a different look that you can use to pan this palette, especially with the blue shade. That isn't too crazy, like I've worn this look to work before and no one's like, oh my gosh, your eyes are so blue or anything crazy like that. I went back in with my Sigma F30 just to kind of buff out the blush okay so the highlight I'm gonna use right there and I use this is the makeup forever 140 wavy highlight brush I'm just gonna tap it and then sweep it just to give a nice glow I like to do a cupid spell and a little bit right here at the top. Okay, so now time to go back to the eyes. I'm going to use my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara to do my lower lashes. And the reason why I do this after I do my face makeup is so it doesn't smudge or like mess up with anything or put powder on top of that. And then for eyebrows today, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. And I don't have to do too much since I do have a dark eyebrows already, but I like to just make sure they look filled in and that any bare spots are covered. Also do this other side. Speaking of which, I probably have to get my eyebrows done soon because they are kind of getting a mess all over the place. And then for Brow gel, I use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Okay. And then, lastly, to finish, I'm going to use my Maybelline Lust for Blush lipstick that I am working on. So I just watched this morning uh, Magic Mike XXL and I'm like really pumped right now. So yeah, just random tidbit. So I have Lust for Blush on and now I'm going to set it all with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And yeah, so that is the look. So let me know your thoughts on this look. And let me know if you recreate it as well. Or if you want to see any other different looks you can kind of get with this Tarte Aqua Lilies palette. Again, thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.